now that we have our competitive analysis laid out, we need to complete a key part of our pitch deck and, coincidentally, part of your final project. This is the value proposition. Our value proposition is our promise of value to our customers or investors. Now, it explains what problem our product solves and what benefits we're giving our customers. We need to frame our value proposition so everything we learn in this lesson is clear, organized, and powerful. The leading template for value propositions in use today was written by none other than Jeffrey Moore in his book, Crossing the Chasm. So let's hear from the expert himself. When it comes to articulating a value proposition, we have a, a template that we use in, in our practice, which has got six lines. And it's proved over the years to be pretty useful. Um, so the, the first line is four, and that's just like, who are you talking to? And, and we'll talk about market segmentation, but we're going to talk to what we call the poster child in your segment, the per, your perfect target customer. And the next line is called who, and that, that uh, specifies the state that your target customer would be in in, in, in wanting your, your offer. So, that the, so you have for these people who are in this state of mind, then the third uh, uh, line is called our product or our service is. And that's where you categorize your offer generically. You, it's a little bit like, what aisle in the supermarket would I go to to find your product? It's sort of that sort of thing is in line three. So you're not trying to differentiate in line three. You're just trying to say what, what you are. And then that, and the fourth line, is your primary benefit. The thing that basically, it speaks a lot to the state in, that the customer's in. Typically, if the state is a problem state, this is the answer to that problem kind of thing. And then the last two lines help position you against your closest competitor. So unlike, and this is where you put your closest competitor, and what's important here is that you not pick a competitor that's, that's uh, ineffective or, or, uh, or not valuable to the customer. You want to pick a legitimate alternative that this customer should probably be thinking about, but then what you say is unlike this competitor, our offer, and that's the sixth line, and you state your primary differentiation there. And it's not that our offer is better. Uh, it's typically what you normally do with differentiation is you say, they are good for this and we are good for that.